Hello guys, this is Vaish. So we'll discuss the Hindu editorial for July 18th, that is Tuesday. So uh, hope you have seen the previous episodes because I've seen like uh, the latest episode has uh, more views compared to the previous episodes of that. That means some students are not watching it regularly. They are watching it randomly as and when they like. That won't work because every day there is some important topic which will directly come in your prelims or mains. Okay, especially yesterday, many, many topics were there or keywords were there which will directly come in your prelims. So please watch all the episodes. So today, uh, 14th episode because we are doing uh, six episodes per week, Monday to Saturday. So we'll discuss uh, the important articles. Okay, like what are the important headlines that we'll see first. So first article is about India UAE's uh, rupee dharam exchange thing. Already a detailed article we discussed on this. That is why I'm telling I will not repeat what is already done. Okay, because it will be like the again, again starting from scratch. So daily you have to watch. We started just uh, two weeks back only. So you can catch up now. Please start from episode number one. Already, I don't know, I think fifth or sixth episode. Okay, this thing, this topic is already covered. What is extra points that we'll quickly discuss here. Okay, and then the next one, if you see, Uniform Civil Code, two times already we discussed in the last two weeks. This today's article, I did not find it useful for exam perspective. It's actually for a debate and all you can use. Okay, they are telling like uh, Parsis may not like it, LGBT community may not like it or uh, the uh, some uh, Shabrimala issue, some people may not. So every religious angles they are putting and telling like Uniform Civil Code may not work. So it's like a debate. It's not a useful exam point of view. That article is not useful. Uniform Civil Code already we have explained. And again, when good articles come, we'll again discuss. Okay. But here there is no important thing to discuss. Then here, WTO settlement. Again, this also repeat. But here, a good thing has happened that India and USA has settled six of their disputes. Okay. WTO is World Trade Organizations. So India, uh, every country will raise issues there. But there, an appellate body or dispute settlement body was uh, not functioning. Okay. Since 2019, everybody are trying to revive it. But it is not functioning. So now India, USA, outside the uh, this thing, WTO uh, context, they themselves solved their issues. Okay. So that what were the issues and what is given in the Hindu that we'll quickly discuss. Okay. Here, Jammu and Kashmir, always a local news article will come. This also a uh, little bit it is interesting, but again, I think better articles will come. It is about, you know, Article 370 was uh, taken away. So after Article 370 taken away, the, uh, earlier, if you remember, you cannot go and purchase land in uh, Jammu and Kashmir or there are many land property related issues. Okay. But now the government has started like this uh, Pradhan Mantri, Avas Yojana, housing schemes and many things. So they started allocating land and all. But again, some of the local leaders or regional people and all are not liking it. So that even after uh, taking away 370, why is the issues not resolved? That certain uh, political points are there. So that because it's politics also involved, we will not discuss that. Also, it's the local news which comes every day. Okay, for each state, one day, one article will come. Then data protection bill. Again, it's a very poor article here. They are telling like RTI, the Right to Information Act, uh, which is there since 2005. It is one of the best act which we have in our country also. But there are many exemptions in that, meaning you ask for something, they're not giving you the data. So that round and round, they're again, again telling here because a new amendment of this, the bill, 2023 bill is going to be tabled uh, this July, August in the monsoon session. So whatever I told you, that much only is there, but I will still go through the article and tell you the uh, pointers written there okay here a tennis related tennis men's tennis uh, tournament some player names and their uh, win and victories and all those things are mentioned that is not useful for you in your exam okay then this one is the first article which we will discuss charts and graph usually we don't discuss but here they are telling some points and some name of the states small states especially where the population is less than one crore i think such states uh, depended on the center even now they don't have their own tax revenue sources and all that kind of some pointers are there so that is the one which we'll start with okay this is the charts given here big problem for small states okay and some charts like if you see nagaland mizoram arunachal manipur himachal tripura Goa. These are the small states in terms of pollution, uh, population. Okay. So their concerns and their revenue problems, which like they are fully dependent on the center, that certain statistics is there. So that I'll quickly uh, tell you. Okay. The fiscal situation. Fiscal means the financial situation. Okay. So fiscal situation of Indian states is always a problem. They are telling most of the analysis is centered around large states. Meaning and whenever we discuss all the things, we tell about Maharashtra, we tell about Karnataka, we tell about bigger states where uh, bigger population is there, bigger income revenue is there. We discuss that. So they are telling there needs to be more discussion on the physical position of small states also. That is the states with population less than 1 crore. Okay. So 
constitution already has many provisions you know many articles are there like article 370 you know for kashmir but there is article 371a 371b like that there are many uh, things uh, for uh, like special status kind of thing given to many states so constitution already has some mechanisms and provisions but that is not sufficient okay so these states continue to rely heavily on the union government for revenue okay and this creates certain vulnerabilities that also in the last slide we will tell three vulnerabilities which is there for the state so now the total uh, the uh, total revenue receipt okay meaning the money which they get revenue receipt of a state constitute transfers from the union government such as the state share in union tax meaning union you know when collecting tax it's not like entire thing is going to the union itself then there is something called vertical devolution and horizontal devolution vertical devolution means uh, the finance commission will tell out of what you get 40 50 percentage should go to states okay so that is vertical from the center it is going to the states now horizontal means within the states how much share you should give okay so that also there is some criteria based on your population how much forest area you have how much income tax you are paying there are many things which the states are uh, uh, are considered and that was this year's prelims question 2023 prelims question was what are the factors which are considered while horizontally uh, devolving your this thing this fund which comes from the center so they gave four five things and you had to solve it so that's until these are all direct things coming from newspapers and articles and you're still searching for other unwanted source and uh, coaching materials you'd simply read newspaper every single day enroll to any one good test series study the basic static books you will clear upsc okay this much only is required but you are simply complicating your preparations please take editorials and analysis seriously if you are not following vaishayas follow whichever you have been regularly following but watch it daily learn it daily read it daily paper and uh, upsc question paper are almost newspaper and upsc question paper are almost in sync everything comes from the paper only okay so here they are telling income tax corporation tax grants these are the things which uh, center will uh, give to the states okay and states own revenue also will be there so they are telling this own tax revenue or otr own tax own non tax revenue that is ontr meaning tax is not the only thing there will be many other uh, things which also you can make money with okay so that taxes i will teach you in a separate economic session so like that there are many ways which uh, states can make money and they are telling like uh, the revenue receipt of each of the small state have increased okay but problem is it is increased not by state's own thing union is giving lot of money that is why it looks bigger okay so six of the nine states they have grown faster than the uh, gross state domestic product meaning the gdp of the states okay so these increase is primarily due to union transfer rather than the state's own revenue so that is a problem you are fully dependent on the uh, center okay so dependence of union has not decreased so three states they have given mizoram sikkim and tripura the revenue receipt have grown slower than the state gsdp implying limited fiscal space to operate they don't have much money to operate or do some schemes or anything for their own needs they are not able to do because already it is for a certain purpose it is given okay so except for goa the union share in all the uh, other small states revenue receipt is more than 60 percentage okay the union share in this is like more than 60 percentage and for five states it is more than 90 percentage this is what in that graph which i showed you first they are showing 90 60 50 40 and all like that they are showing so these small states have this problem that 90 percent of their things are coming from uh, union okay only 10 percent they are making money so here states economy have grown over time but this has not necessarily translated into higher revenue mobilization capacities meaning same the usage of money or the fiscal capacity that has not increased it is always limited okay so down if you see last one manipur tripura nagaland have consistently struggled in terms of that ontr okay that own uh, tax non tax revenue uh, then it's performing poorly in comparison to the other states okay so they have various vulnerabilities so three vulnerabilities they have given in this article first thing is state rely on the union government's political goodwill okay meaning if you are like if the state is also bjp party the center is also current context i'm telling center is also now bjp so that time maybe they will favor more to the uh, bjp state so that everywhere development you can show and you can keep on winning elections okay so that goodwill you have to keep maintaining okay if you are an opposition party and all you may be not getting it and you have to always act even though your ideologies doesn't match you have to act that goodwill so that they keep giving you fund so that is one concern okay vulnerability second one high dependence on the union might imply less fiscal freedom for the states okay meaning we are depending more on the union means you don't have much fiscal freedom okay the significant portions of the fund right which union will be giving is for a specific purpose meaning they will tell this fund is for making houses this fund is for electricity this is for so they can't do anything else with that that is given for that means that's the central government scheme or something which is running there so 
they don't have the physical capacity or the ability to be flexible okay third one lack of their own revenue can lead to weakened state capacity affecting the delivery of socio economic general service again if state want to themselves start giving something now example like karnataka now uh, the congress party announced we will give rice or something but they don't have money they don't have resources they were depending on some central scheme but center cancelled that scheme so now they can't do it so you should have your own way of making money you should have your own way of uh, revenue okay so they are telling many states are there which uh, like example kerala is one example their income actually their complete treasury is empty only okay all the time you can tell they are developed they are having this and all but they are in way like thousands of crores of loss uh, debt they have okay that much debt is there and their revenue is mostly from liquor okay the government is running liquor services okay that's not a good trend in a uh, country or a state nowhere it should be like your main income sources through selling liquor that is a very ba bad sign and in the long run it will be problem you have to make like manufacturing should be there services should be there agriculture should be there kerala as an example if you take almost everything from salt till vegetables till anything you take it's all imported into kerala okay they are completely dependent on the neighboring states tamil nadu and karnataka where most of the uh, agricultural products are coming into okay the, including i mean the food materials are coming from outside states and the people also for job they are, don't have much jobs there in kerala they are actually they have good human power is there the human they have excellent education excellent health care they have excellent human resources so those people then go outside and work that is why most people work in bangalore or in chennai or in coimbatore or maybe they are going to the uh, gulf countries and usa and also they are going outside the services like human services going outside so that is a very wrong way of actually running a state so they are telling about that only liquor prohibition policies are there in many states okay like you little drinking is bad this thing and all so when you do that what happens your main revenue source you are cutting off okay so your drinking habit you are actually not able to control also because people will arrange okay like gujarat if you see is a dry state but that doesn't mean nobody there drinks they will arrange it through borders or somehow they will arrange the drinks and they will get it so the main purpose like the consequence of drinking that you are stopping that is not happening instead you are having a substantial revenue loss okay so that is what is written here so you should find out different studies are there manipur university study arunachal pradesh some studies they are telling that there should be there, there is a potential to generate more more revenue from transactions by the land and sales tax these are all state related tax okay there are state tax and central taxes this land related taxes and all actually goes to state so you should do more in that area so to earn more and more money for the state okay then many solutions they have given it's good points actually improve the tax tax administration in the state meaning the officers the collecting efficiency uh, the tax collection the maybe online dashboards and portals everything such thing the administration of the tax should be uh, made better okay and reduce the deviation of actual from budgeted tax revenue okay meaning what you are keeping in announcing in the budget and what happens this and all sometimes gets deviated you tell 10 crore for a project you end up uh, spending 15 crore 5 crore loss it is so like that you should have a proper uh, budgeting plan okay collection of non tax revenue should be properly worked about revise the existing charges the rate of services enhancing the administrative revenue collection efficiently all these things you have to do then the public sector enterprise that is the main thing okay like you have this uh, union uh, public sector enterprises there right the central like if you take uh, uh, the uh, nalco aluminium companies there or the uh, steel will be there everything central government one one body will be there maharatna companies and all same with it state will have its own state public uh, service uh, companies okay so that enterprises is all running in losses so you should if it is bad you should shut down or if it's needed some money if you should repair it so what is needed work on it simply don't run loss making companies and then everything will come on the state exchequer that is wrong so they're telling also mizoram at the last line mizoram has closed down loss making public sector enterprises recognizing that that entities are a liability okay it's not an asset for us now it is a liability we are simply running that loss making thing and our money is going so these are the important steps to improve your state gdp okay so these are the important points of that article number 1 okay now if you are new to this channel please read this because i see the same queries in the comment section okay don't ask this the answers are given here don't ask these questions at least okay then test series 2024 is already batch 1 is over that's closed now batch 2 will be announced within one week it will be announced and then 2025's two year test series program is there which will be very very vast it will help the college going students the working aspirants or anyone who is like wanting to give the attempt after two years a very grand kind of prelims plus mains time table inclusive of current affairs static portions everything will be there that i will announce by this month end okay so that also you please wait for it but you have to be in touch with me on whatsapp because that is where i give almost all the updates okay and youtube channel obviously you have to subscribe and till then till then what you should do you should watch our foundation 
foundation foundation videos are free of cost it will make you ready to begin your preparation okay so it's not about like studying books it's about why should you study those books what will upsc ask out of it such things okay and if you are giving state psc exams and you need lot of current affair knowledge you can enroll to sorry subscribe to the vice courses uh, youtube channel also okay so now we'll go to the second article india uae again as i told we have already discussed in the world map uae is somewhere there okay that is the flag of uae and that uh, area in red color that is the uae okay united arab emirates okay like we here we tell states there it's called emirates there are seven emirates inside uae okay like dubai you know abu dhabi you know capital is abu dhabi then sharjah like that seven are there okay these are the like seven states of uae seven emirates they call that's what united arab emirates okay so inside that if you zoom in this will be the kind of map there dubai is the most famous you know and abu dhabi is the capital and then surrounding you can see persian gulf is there gulf of oman is there there are extra information because i told no article today is not very good so let's learn extra things about india uae so the flag you saw the map you saw the bordering things you saw okay one point you should see uh just below that flag if you see after dubai little bit gray color area is there that is because that small gray color area doesn't belong to uh, dubai okay that belongs to actually oman that's a continuation of oman okay it's a small uh you can tell attachment so dubai and that yellow color kind of thing that is up to that is uae extra that small just below that flag gray color is belonging to oman okay so this is the kind of um in that full region saudi arabia is the biggest country and they are also where the place of the most of the headquarters of their islamic organizations everything is in saudi arabia okay then you can see qatar there where the world cup happened football bahrain is there kuwait also will be there beyond that so tiny tiny countries everything is tiny but one of the most developed and rich countries because of the oil which they have there okay so now this again india uae bilateral relation these are not there in your newspaper these are extra information okay so here if you see 1972 uh, they started meaning uae opened an embassy in new delhi in 1972 and india opened an embassy in abu dhabi in 1973 so from there officially we can tell the trade relationship began okay and india is the second largest trade partner of uae and uae is india's world largest sorry india's largest trading partner in the arab world okay in that area india's largest trading partner is there and uh, 100 billion dollar that numbers are not important so export destination also we are exporting a lot of there actually uae's population if you consider more than 50% or 60% are people who came from outside okay mostly indians only indians pakistanis bangladeshi people chinese people philippines people uae themselves doesn't have a, a culture like uae people and all there are many royal families were there and it's a, it was a complete desert in the 70s it was a complete desert but they because of their will power their vision towards uh, uh, something beyond oil okay that is the best thing which uae did when all the other countries were in their orthodox uh, uh, theocratic kind of uh, ruling and they were only focusing on oil money dubai and uae they thought that we will do development okay like whatever is usa doing more infrastructure more buildings the biggest biggest uh, uh, technology whatever you can think that you will get in dubai okay in the complete world the fastest or uh, earliest uh, the technology comes actually one is in dubai and one is in japan okay that you should know so there Uh, these kind of things okay so oil and gas air connectivity see diaspora last point indian uh, diaspora in uae uh, over 3.3 million strong and vibrant indian community okay there actually you go most of the towns and areas you will find only indians okay there are certain areas there only indians are living okay especially from the south especially from kerala you can tell so there uh, this is how the setup is between india and uae the kind of relationship in almost all sectors and trade also as i told because indians are there obviously indian food materials lots will be exported to there and indian like tea rice everything will be going there okay and i think uae is uh, exporting more to us okay in form of uh, jewelry and uh, gel uh, sorry the gems uh, and diamonds so there are many many things are there minerals and all so that is why they might be having a trade surplus now and different countries as and when they progress their relationship right they will sign different different agreement like first it will be a fta free trade agreement then there will be pta preferential trade agreement then there is called something called seca sepa and all okay comprehensive economic agreement kind of thing okay or comprehensive economic partnership agreement like that they keep evolving till they become a major thing like economic union and all like if you see european union they are european union why it is because they have that ultimate kind of uh, trade relationship everything like freely moving people are freely moving without passports maybe you can move it's completely open okay so that level you reach so with uae we are somewhere in the ceca stage okay seca comprehensive economic stage so a uh, uh, big deal was signed 100 billion dollar 15 billion dollar this and all you can pause and read okay this is not now like today's news these are things in the past i am telling you to understand india uae relationships okay 
So you can pause that and see and this see historic pack, uh, trade pact, comprehensive economic partners, SEPA, okay, CEPA level we have reached and there uh, this much uh, industries will be having mutual benefit, okay, gems and jewelry, textiles, leather and footwear, plastics, automobiles, agriculture products, engineering products, pharmaceuticals, medical devices and even furniture, sports goods, all these things we are going to have historic uh, trade relationships, okay, and this is one thing, another extra current affair, who are these uh, people, one is India, one is UAE, that are flag is one is Israel and other one is USA. Okay, so this is if you see the name India and Israel, I and I. Okay, so I2, UAE and USA. Okay, so U2, so I2, U2, they made a group recently. Okay, it's UPSC, I think, have not asked till now. So I2, U2 group is there, and in that uh, they are even calling it as the Western Quad. Okay, you know, already there is a quad grouping where the same India, USA is there with two countries in the east that is Japan and Australia. So it's like an eastern quad or the main quad. So now because in the western side same India USA is going and tying up with two other countries they are calling it kind of the western quad. Okay. So these are basic GK facts you should know I2 U2. Okay. Now in this article till now I told everything which is not there in the article for your knowledge. In this article they are telling the Reserve Bank of India and the Central Bank of the UAE they both have decided like we will allow to use the local currencies in each other's market meaning rupee and their currency is dirhams okay one rupee will be around 17 dirhams i think so that uh, we will be having we will be able to reduce the dependence on euro or dollar or other things because everywhere you know everybody is using dollar so that is one good uh, great uh, gesture which these two are doing and they are going to set up something called local currency settlement system okay so if UPC asks something like that uh, recently india signed with someone it is india and uae okay local currency settlement system so all the current account payments including those involving the two countries exporter and importer and certain permitted capital account meaning some full in current account and some in capital account what is current capital i've already taught you in one of the previous episode okay so watch everyday's editorial so there they'll be allowing to settle the transactions in rupee or dharam okay so that is a benefit for them so this uh, foreign exchange market will improve it will improve the ease of doing business the trade will be boosting so that kind of thing okay and they are independent of the other exchange rates and us dollar and all those things these are the benefits of doing such a uh, thing okay so india uae local currency settlement system and also recently you know rbi had an interdepartmental group and all where we are discussing about what we are discussing about internationalization of rupee okay i mean rupee should be something which is accepted globally so that we are already working on so that is a this is also a step towards that okay like this with different different countries we'll sign then again i told you they have trade surplus and then a bilateral comprehensive economic partnership agreement came to effect in 2022 so it's a very recent current affair upc will ask it okay then so investments from us based firms are going to come more towards india and even they are discussing like when india is trading with russia and all can there also we start using dirhams and all these things and like that uh, uae is trading with their there they will use rupees so can we involve russia also there so that kind of discussion is going on okay and i told you already in the previous day article that there was something called a gulf rupee like we have indian rupee a gulf rupee was there until the mid 1960s we used to use it but then related some gold smuggling issues and all it became problem they then stopped it so now they are telling we have had best uh, uh, things in the past so why not we do it now but again the author is warning that in this rapidly economically glow, uh, uh, growing environment policy makers should be a little careful okay not like out of excitement you go and start doing all these things it will become a problem okay there are enough risk also so be aware okay this uh, opportunities is fine but be aware while doing all these things that warning also author is giving okay so this is the only thing in the article remaining everything i told you because of that reason only extra information now india usa you know modi went as a like a state visit as a uh, guest of honor and there a very important thing was that they uh, signed the or they solved six disputes i'll tell you the six disputes first okay this is not there properly in the article it is there scattered i just put it in one page so that before we see the hindu article you get the proper content what is the actual content because if you read yourself you may not get these points okay so six trade issues are there first one is in uh, usa they have their trade expansion act or something under that there is a section 232 under which they keep putting tariffs okay telling like your import or your something uh, things are uh, problem for our national security so we are putting tariff we are putting duties on that okay so that will harm harm india obviously okay like especially the steel and aluminium imports from india so india is telling you are putting duties unwantedly so we will also put duties back on your products like soya bean almond walnut apple whatever we take from you there also we will put uh, duty 
then your things will look costly in our country. So both were fighting on that issue. Okay. Since 2018, they are fighting. Okay. Then there is this domestic content requirement about which UPSC prelims question came. Okay. In 2016 or 17, same word domestic content requirement was in news in relation to what? Answer was India, USA. It's a prelims question. Okay. That is actually solar panels. Again, which we import from other places and all because for our renewable sector, we need a lot of solar panels. There India kept a condition like at least 50% 50, 50 of that content should be like raw material should be from India that USA did not like. So there also they put a case in the WTO. Okay. So that is second issue. Third one export subsidies to IT product. Again, India, a lot of IT people, IT services, IT products we export. So there also some tariffs or some duties are put so that they are fighting. Then special economic zone, you know, in IT companies or a group of companies together, a special economic zone will be there. Benefits are that there uh, more foreign investment will come. Some uh, some extra benefits is there that it looks attractive for businesses. So USA told this is against WTO rule. You cannot make such special, special zones and all and uh, that the equality goes away. Okay. That special zone gets some special attention that doesn't uh, that should not happen okay so that also USA challenged then intellectual property right you know many problems comes when people file patent and trademark for different different things so that they are blaming India that as per WTO provisions okay we have some trips agreement and many things are there India did not take sufficient steps India is not doing good in that so that also a challenge then last one anti-dumping duty this again India China relationship most of the time we discuss okay like China is dumping most of their cheap toys and cheap electronics goods here meaning in their country if it is 100 rupees here they are selling it 90 rupees meaning they are dumping it at very low price so what happens is our domestic market which our Indian people are making that goods looks costlier compared to Chinese goods so that so we will what we will put we will put an anti-dumping duty so what happens we will put 10 rupee duty on that so that also will look 100 this also will look 100 so people can choose now whether to buy a Chinese thing or an Indian thing so this thing also USA was imposing on Indian goods when we were selling there they were telling like anti it is like you are dumping here so we will put anti-dumping duty which India was actually not doing but they thought like that and they put so this also so six big issues this, there are many more issues but these are the six one which got solved now okay that is why we are discussing there are many like mango export issue was there poultry related things we are exporting that issue was there then that Harley Davidson bike which was USA's here uh, had lot of taxes that issue was there now I think they have stopped they have not you, you cannot buy a, a Harley Davidson now so like that there are many issues but this six issues they solved it that was nothing big most of the things india has told like okay we'll agree we'll remove the tariff that kind of agreements only but good thing is wto's body when it is in a failed state that uh, appellate body is in a failed state still these two countries decided that we will solve it ourselves that's a very good thing okay so that is what is the uh, main crux of this article so here they told they will reduce the tariff mutually both the countries told okay what we put on steel and aluminium little bit will reduce there also a little bit will reduce the second one domestic content require India told okay now we need like that for our renewable energy sector but in the upcoming five years we will not put that requirement 100% your material itself will buy that level we will reach in the next five years then again subsidies we will gradually phase out okay then special economic zone we will again work on it and normalize things so that it doesn't look too much uh, attractive to foreigners and foreign businesses and all then uh, I, this also we will introduce more policies we already have the intellectual property patent act and all things we will introduce more as per new wto norms okay anti dumping duties also both the countries will establish a working group they will discuss that to not once regularly they will discuss and see to it that no trade is affected so this is the summary of the entire article now the hindu i will show you just because you should understand their language also so most important outcome of prime minister modi's visit was this only six long-standing trade dispute at wto was resolved okay so if you see wto appellate body was redundant since 2019 it's not functioning okay so now a meaningful resolution of these disputes was almost out of sight but india usa made sure that it will uh, solve it themselves so same thing see domestic content requirement under india's national solar mission then down if you see uh, some sub federal programs of usa that also india meaning they challenge something we will challenge back okay so that used to happen then again if you see uh, next page the SEZ SC, issue and uh, India already without even they challenging India uh, moved our MEIS scheme merchandise export from India scheme and also India voluntarily also have done many things to avoid any debates between countries okay then the domestic again the domestic challenges which I told okay so you should uh, understand each other's domestic issues and then try to accept okay you should not simply tell follow WTO follow WTO India has some problems there so you should understand same way USA has some problem you should understand the differences you should uh, keep aside okay so again if you see that uh, what they solved 
uh, steel and aluminum whatever problem was there around 70 percent 80 percent uh, they will now reduce the tariffs on steel and this thing and they also will do it back okay and then again down so most favored nation there is also one term upsc will ask you most favored nation is related to wto okay that doesn't mean you are favoring someone specially it's actually the opposite meaning meaning if you are having mfn signed with uh, uh, everyone meaning you are part of wto if you are treating china some way the same way you should treat pakistan also okay you should not give special special benefits there should be no favored nation actually that is the meaning of most favored nation okay that's how the clause is that you will understand when you read more articles and when you solve questions but just understand it is a wto's uh, clause okay where everybody should be treated equally when it comes to uh, trade okay so now long standing disputes have been uh, resolved and this is actually something which other wto members can learn from india and usa they can emulate they can uh, use it and here they are telling the commerce ministry was the one obviously who will be involved in trade things so piyush goel noted that this is at a good timing that this has happened when we are scaling new heights and uh, this could deepen greater economic uh, uh, engagements okay already uh, like ai uh, modi uh, when he went there told ai is not just artificial intelligence another ai is also booming now that ai is america india okay so that way it is in a very golden period you can tell india us relationships so this is the article now the last article data protection bill which i again told in the article nothing much is there you should know the bill okay first thing is that prelims related fact uh, privacy became a fundamental right under that particular act uh, under that particular judgment okay that ks puttusami versus union of india and the supreme court judgment there only privacy was identified as a uh, fundamental right okay there was a justice sri krishna committee uh, which was formed which was uh, to examine whatever problems we have for data protection issue 2018 the committee okay that committee releases draft a draft of the bill personal data protection bill and then 2021 a joint parliamentary committee will be there you know the bill when you study lakshmikanth polity you will understand how a bill passes from each stage okay six seven stages are there then only they finally it will pass and become an act okay so again if you see here uh, 2021 uh, the new version of the bill came after discussion and 2000 uh, okay it's reverse 2019 first then 2021 then after the 2022 august and november you can see uh, some withdrawal happened then again they renewed and released a new draft so what happened is now it is going to be tabled in the upcoming july august monsoon session that is why the debate okay that is why people are not happy or the author is not happy and he is telling like uh, it is going to come there are many challenges there are many problems there okay from here only hindu starts so here if you see uh, 2005 okay 2005 october 12 onwards rti is in effect okay and it has been going fine it how what is the uh, history of it uh, there in 2004 there was like uh, struggles led by mazdoor kisan shakti sangathan so they fought in uh, rural rajasthan for their rights and something and all and that is how this draft actually came okay so origin of right to information act 2005 you can tell it was a struggle or fight which happened in 2004 in rajasthan okay so all party committee came they have carefully read the provisions this is about rti act okay about rti act it was a very like intense discussion happened all the states told like okay for democracy every citizen should have the right to information you ask anything to the government they should tell you that kind of intense thing was there so it is one of the most transparent and useful and it will be like uh, holding the accountable uh, government accountable and then uh, corruption can be curbed by this thing so it's a very good paragraph you can use whenever you have to write about right to information these are the things you have to use in your answer okay and then now uh problem is there have been many exemptions in the act especially in the new draft there are many exemptions that is what is here they are telling okay section 81 some 10 subsections are there a to j so they are telling different different things like if it is based on individuals thing you we will not give you information okay so this page if you see it's not very important you can just pause and read okay there's nothing much take away from here i have highlighted some lines just pause and read in the next uh, page if you see these things most of the information when you ask the rti they are not giving you okay like if you see beneficiaries of the prime minister fund the details of a mla fund then ias officers whose like corruption charges are there there something you ask then uh, some employees who doesn't at, go to office properly so like many many things when you ask right they are telling it is individual thing it is privacy we cannot give you such information so this pointers is the most important thing i felt in this article i have highlighted it for you in the article is actually full mixed up i put it in point wise so this is what you have to note down okay so many refusals the first line if you see many refusals are because of they are telling this one all is personal information so it's affecting their privacy we cannot give you okay so that is the problem which the author is uh, telling about okay and then the proposed bill as i told is again amending something to make like a general word like people state these things are all privacy we cannot give you but that's a very uh, weird thing right when you tell okay this is all people then everything become private 
then no, no information you will get out of that then what is the purpose of rti so that is why they are telling the proposed bill defines the term person widely it can include individuals companies state so if your company thing you ask also they will tell companies also considered as a person it's a private thing we cannot tell you so it will be problem so rti would ideally become right to deny information instead of right to information it will become right to deny information okay so this can be a main question the right to this thing becomes this thing justify elaborate so you have to tell what is the problems in this act okay i have already shown you that seven eight pointers in the previous slide so they are telling in the 18 years uh, after this rti came no harm has come it has always been good for the democracy it is transparent so don't spoil it by introducing new clauses and amendment this is the author's message okay hope you got the idea so you would take at least one hour to read that and understand i told you in 10 minutes just revise again pause and revise again it will be sufficient okay so tell in comments whether this was helpful whatsapp number is given i want you in my whatsapp if you are a serious aspirant and then instagram also you can follow more than 10000 followers are there now as of today so i want more aspirants to come there okay because we post a lot of uh, articles and pictures and many things there so i'll wind up this video anything is there tell in the comment section please put a like and comment okay so thank you and have a nice day